Sam from Happy Hedgehog Post here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the bees for the mobile in the June envelope section. That's about, let's see, four inches or so. Okay, so I kind of roll it a little bit and then you want to make a knot in the middle. Okay, then I bring one side over the knot and then I roll and roll all the way to the end. Make sure you roll tight because then that'll be less um, needle felting you'll have to do. All right, so your, your um, bees are going to be different sizes. So that's one. And then I pulled off a wider piece before and got a slightly larger one. It's not a huge difference. But, you know, bees are coming different sizes, so you're going to want to have um, varying sizes anyway. And you're going to have enough roving to make about eight, maybe, maybe more, depending on the size. All right, so... Once you do that, wherever the end was on there is where you're going to want to start felting and just, you know, tack it down. Remember, whatever direction you go in, also go out so that you don't break your needle point. Okay, and then I'm going to just rotate around and keep needle felting. Now I do like, I stand it up on one end and kind of tack it down. See if I can come in a little bit closer. See if you can see. Alright, so once you've gone over it at least once, I take it and kind of roll it in my hand. And then it's still pretty squishy, so I'm going to go over it one more time. It doesn't have to be super, super firm because you are going to put the yellow stripes of your bees on here. You're putting the stripes on, which will help firm it up a little bit more. So when you're finished, your little bee is going to look like... All right, so now you're going to take some of the yellow, and you just don't, you don't need a ton, and I like to pull mine into little pieces now. Sometimes you have little pieces of debris in here you can just pull off. All right, so I roll mine on my fingers, kind of helps get it all together so it's not so fluffy. And then you're going to take it and you're going to wrap it around your bee body. Okay, like that. There we go. All right, and then you're going to start right where that loose end is and felt it in place. Let me put it down here. So you can kind of bring the pieces closer together as you tack it down. That way you don't have any black showing through the yellow stripe. Alright, so you want to get that on there good. I usually go over it twice just to make sure. Alright, and then again I roll it to see how it looks. So like right here is a little bit loose, so now I know to go ahead and fill that on a little bit more. Okay, now, next stripe. 
let's see. That's a great bit. All right, so this one we're going to do a little bit skinnier. And take our little bee body. Wrap it around. So this one's trying to fall off the back end a little bit. Now if that happens, what you can do is put it on and then go ahead and kind of tack it down a little bit before you wrap it all the way around and that way it won't slip off. Okay. So we got to tack these down and you're noticing that the, like the black is bulging, like I don't know if you can see my black is bulging like right here. Then you just go through and needle that section down a little bit more to get that shape looking better. See how the shape's looking? Do the stripes look the way you want? Yeah, I see a little bulge, so I'm going to fix that. My yellow stripe is looking a little weird over here, so I'm just going to stick the needle sideways through it. You see, I'm going sideways instead to kind of straighten that up and clean that up a little bit. I like my stripes to be slightly straight. They don't have to be perfect, but you know. These are pretty symmetrical. Oops. Come right back out. Okay. All right, so I think he looks pretty bee-like. So now we're gonna do the wings. Now the wings are probably the most complicated, but they're really not complicated, but in comparison to what we just did. Okay, so just break off a tuft. And then, so you've got a piece about that big, so that's Eh, around three inches. Alright, so now I'm just going to pull it apart in half. Now, what you're going to want to do, I'm going to, hmm, let me roll up my felt, uh, my fabric here so you can see a bit better. There's a lot of holes in it. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is fold it like that and like that so it's like a little point okay to make your little wings and then you're gonna have excess so you just pull that off okay so once you've done that little thing I'm gonna do it one more time so you can see hopefully see it well okay so in the middle you're going to want to fold over and then fold over again. This one doesn't really have that much excess, but hanging off of it. Pull that off. Okay, so now what we're going to do is felt it. Okay. So I'm doing this on a piece of material that's on top of a piece of foam. Um, I do that on the material to keep the foam clean so it doesn't get little strands stuck to it which then get onto your work. With it being black, if you you know got white pieces all over it, that's not going to look very good. So that's why I do it that way. Alright, so you're going to just want to felt down and then just See how I'm using the needle to kind of bring it over and then keep melting it down. So it's going to adhere to my fabric. So what I need to do is then pull it off, flip it over, and felt again. Okay. 
And again, so you can see it's got all these little things coming up. So then you lay it back down again and you felt it again. But we're making these nice looking wings to attach. Now mine is looking quite rounded, almost too rounded, so I'm going to probably alter that a little bit by just going into the side. This might be really hard to see, so I'm going to actually grab some green fabric to do on top here and see if you can see it a little bit better. All right, anyway, so I go into the side a little bit just to change the shape. Make it look less round and perfect. Okay. So, with one wing. All right, I'm over there. Okay, here's the other one. It's only folded. So let me just start folding straight down. And then I'm going to actually peel some of it up and bring it in to make the wing a little smaller. All right, I'll rip it off, flip it over, all right, rip it off, flip it over. The hardest part about this is actually making sure that the wings are close in size. It can be slightly tricky. So now that I've got it semi done, I'm going to lay the other wing on top just to see, like, are they close? Yeah, they're close. So this one needs to just have its side brought in a little bit more. shape modification. All right, lay them on top of each other. Yeah, we're good. All right, so this one has a tail, so I'm just going to pull off some of that excess there. We don't need all that. All right, so now we're going to take our little bee body. Now when I attach the wings, I always do it in the black. I feel like it's kind of like the mid midline, if you will. All right, I put the wings together. So it forms like a little heart kind of looking thing. And then I place them on, kind of figuring out, do I like them there? Okay. Now here's what I do. I take the tail and I actually flip it this way so that when I attach the little tail sticking out like that, and then I tack it in. Now don't push all the way through because then you're going to have white coming out the other side. Alright, and then I fold the wing over and then I just poke through. That way the wings don't stick straight up. Okay, so now we've got one wing on and one wing that we need to still attach. So again, I'm going to fold the tail and see they're pretty, they're pretty close and then tack it down down all the way and then tack it down up here just in the black all right and now you've got an adorable little bee for your mobile all right seven more to go in the next video I will show you how to do the roses and the butterflies and then also how to assemble the mobile all together Happy felting!